Julia Child was known as the beloved chef who helped millions master the art of French cooking with her best-selling cookbooks and her popular public broadcasting television show. You just have to have the courage of your conviction. More recently, the 2009 movie, Julie and Julia, explored how Julia Child and husband Paul Child's life in France in 1948 led to her discovery of French cuisine and the French way of life. And now a new book, France is a Feast, the photographic journey of Paul and Julia Child by Alex Prudhomme and Katie Pratt reveals an even more personal side of the great Julia Child. The book's collection of over 200 photographs by Paul Child, Julia's husband, a masterful artist in his own right, celebrate Julia, the French way of life, and of course, French cooking. The book's co-author and the great nephew of Paul Child and Julia Child, Alex Prudhomme, joins me now. Alex, so nice to have you here with us. Thanks, Jack. Glad to be here. I gotta tell you, it's a it's a beautiful book. And and in addition to a a, a book that that tells you such a story visually, it's just fascinating. And I think also fascinating is the story as to how it came about and where the photographs came from. Sure. Well, Paul Child was a wonderful photographer, but this was a sidelight for him. His job in France was as a diplomat. He was sent there in 1948 uh, as a cultural attaché. He worked at the U.S. Embassy in Paris, and he brought his wife, Julia, who didn't know how to cook, could barely speak French, uh, and it was the moment that changed their lives. Uh, they didn't realize it at the time, but Paul spent every free minute he had taking photographs all over France, and we have this wonderful treasure trove of literally thousands of pictures that he took. He, had, he started taking pictures back in the 30s, so over the course of about 50 years, he took many, many images. The backstory to my involvement with this book is that in uh, 2006, we published Julia's memoir, My Life in France, right. you, which inspired- You had, had co-authored that with her. Yes, and I had, had written that with her, and um, I had to convince her to let me work on it with her. <laughs> uh, she was 91 at the time. The uh, movie Julia and Julia was inspired by our book. I returned to doing uh, the kind of journalism I do of all sorts of different kinds of things uh, for about a decade. And my friend Katie Pratt, uh, who's a photo editor, had been quietly working away on a book of Paul's photographs. She'd gotten permission from Julia to do this. There were so many images that it was almost overwhelming for her. Yeah, I, you know, I, I color, don't know black how and you white. Them yeah, out of the, the everything, hundreds and hundreds. Exactly. Of them. So my suggestion was, well. Um, Let's tell the story that we told in my life in France, but from Paul's perspective. And that immediately narrowed down our selection of photographs. So we focused just on the years in France, 1948 to 1954. Uh, and there were some gorgeous pictures there. And there were also snapshots. So we have in this book everything from uh, little moments of Julia at home playing with the cat or on a picnic. Uh, at the well, beach. She's clearly captured, not even realizing she's being captured. Yes, and what's great is this is before Julia became Julia Child. This is Julia in the making. This is uh, Julia in the 1950s when she is learning how to cook, learning how to teach, learning how to write. And so we're really seeing her in her gestational period. She's sort of becoming the person she would be. And she was Paul's wife, and that's what. Let me ask you about their relationship, because as you said, you know, just such a, a curious background, both of them in the OSS yes. during World War II. Then, as you said, afterwards, um, Paul is at the council, Julia is with him, and she has not yet become Julia Child. At some point in time, you know, instead of him being the kind of luminary, she becomes the, the luminary. How did that uh, have an impact, if at all, on their relationship? Oh, it was huge. And I'm glad you picked up on that. That's one of my favorite aspects of their story together. I mean, essentially, this book is a love story at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, you can see it in the photographs, their love uh, for France and its food and the, the people they met, the places they traveled to, but of course, most of all, uh, with each other. And it's palpable when you look at the pictures. You've picked up on a very interesting thing that happened. Paul was 10 years older than Julia. And so for the first half of their marriage, he was the senior member. He was the diplomat, she followed him, he was uh, her mentor, uh, he was a gourmet, he was the one who really pushed her to, to learn about food and wine. And they were posted to France, and then to Germany, and then to Norway. And in 1961, uh, they retired and they moved to Cambridge, Massachusetts. And it was at that point that Paul very intentionally stepped back and said, okay, it's your turn, and pushed Julia into the limelight. And he said he felt it was 
uh, nature restoring an upset balance. That's a really uh, interesting way to put it. Which is, yeah, which is and amazing. even in that era, for a man, let's well, be honest, for a man in, yeah. in the early 60s to say, let's give you an opportunity to shine. I've had my chance. Let's give you an opportunity to shine now. It would be a remarkable even today. Oh, and right. and uh, and she was, at that point, she was ready because she was well-trained. Uh, her book, uh, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, came out in 61. And by 63, she was performing as the French chef. And by 67, she had won an Emmy. She was on the cover of Time magazine. So she just took off like a rocket. But she always said, I would not have had my career were it not for Paul Child. And I think there's truth to that. Well, it is such a marvelous book. As I said from the beginning, it's a, it's a beautiful book. And it's a perfect illustration of the evocative power of photographs. Yes. You know, some, some very intimate, some more structural than others. And perhaps most important, it shows what their relationship was. It's, uh, Alex, just a marvelous job by you and Katie. Once again, it's called France is a Feast, the photographic journey of Paul and Julia Child. Alex, thanks so much for spending some time. We appreciate it. Merci, Jacques, yeah. and uh, bon appétit. <laughs> you be well. Take care.